Fortnite Squad. This week, we've got 5 tips that the everyday Fortnite player can use to outplay their opponents, and to be more efficient without having to do anything super complicated. These include ways to loot and move around better in the early game, as well as specific combat tips to counter turtling or get out of a tight situation. Without wasting any more time, let's get started. This first tip is most useful in the early game when you're farming in houses and ducking in and out of doors, but can also come in handy whenever you're using your pickaxe to break things throughout the game. The premise is to switch to your pickaxe or a weapon to cancel an animation that forces you to walk for a short period of time. You can cancel your pickaxe swing animation after you hit, allowing you to immediately run after your last hit. You can even use it to cancel the animation of opening doors, so you can immediately run after opening one. Remember though, you'll need a weapon to be able to do this. In order to do this tip a little bit more easily, you should make sure that Sprint by default is toggled on, and that you have a key binded to Toggle Harvester instead of just Harvester in your key binds. This will make sure that you'll be sprinting as soon as possible, and it'll save you a few key presses, as double tapping the Toggle Harvester key to cancel the animation and swap back to the pickaxe pretty much instantly. It's super easy to execute once you get the concept, and can speed up your early looting and farming process quite a bit. When doing this, you'll be able to hit furniture and farm mats while moving, and save a bit of time with each hit. Even saving just a couple of seconds could mean the difference between being able to choose when to engage and getting caught off guard by an opponent. Something that you may notice from watching this clip that you should know is that this tip only saves you time if you stay on the move. If you're breaking furniture that is placed next to each other, it'll be better if you just swing normally. This next tip is a minor way to optimize your movement, especially in the early game. You can use pyramids to get through windows of certain buildings that you wouldn't be able to walk through otherwise. You may have seen streamers like Nick and Merckx use this to his advantage in Tilted Towers, but that's not the only place this trick can be used. You can also use it in other places like Westworld, Viking Village, Polar Peak, and more. Pretty much, it works with most windows that look similar to the ones shown here. Other than for optimizing looting paths in the early game, you can also use this trick to confuse your opponents by seamlessly weaving in and out of windows that you can't normally walk through and repositioning to a spot they wouldn't expect. This next tip is more combat oriented and allows you to wall replace or take control of an opponent's wall in an unexpected way. Shout out to TSM Myth, the first player we saw using this trick. The trick takes advantage of the fact that you can hit a structure through something else if you can still see the blue circle. You can use this mechanic to destroy somebody's wall even if you are behind another structure. Essentially, you hit their build to get the blue circle, move back and build your own structure, acting like you're going to take a different angle, then target the blue circle to destroy their wall through your build, followed by replacing their build with your own. It takes a little bit of practice to get the movement down swiftly, but it shouldn't be too difficult overall. This trick doesn't necessarily guarantee a wall replace, especially if they're still holding onto turbo build. What it does do is lull your opponents into a false sense of security, so they let go of turbo build, allowing you to destroy and replace the wall with your own. Launch pads are a great mobility item for making hard rotations and disengaging from tight situations, but they do have a downside. Other players can follow you. This means that your opponents can also get free rotations from your pad, or if you disengage, you'll probably only get away for a few seconds before they catch up. The simple solution to these problems is to destroy your launch pad as you use it. This does not mean use it, land, then shoot it out, but rather destroy your pad immediately after you use it, so nobody can follow, no matter how quick. You can do this one of two ways, shooting or editing. Editing is a little more reliable but they both work similarly well. When you're in the air right before you land on the launch pad, you want to destroy the platform that is holding your pad up. If you're using a gun, then get the supporting platform to one shot, then finish it off before you land. For editing, edit the supporting platform so it's no longer connected, then confirm the edit before landing on your pad. This last one is another combat-oriented tip. Let's say you're trying to turtle and somebody is spamming your walls relentlessly. Although most players feel vulnerable when they're getting spammed, the opponent who is spamming is also extremely vulnerable. Instead of just turbo building and hoping they stop, you can trade shots and put pressure back on them relatively easily. In these situations, wait for them to destroy your wall, then hit back with a quick shotgun shot before replacing your wall again. If you get the timing down, this is a pretty easy way to make an opponent think twice about carelessly spraying your builds. Thank you all so much for watching this video. 